Hello, everybody. It is, uh, it is nice to see you. It is a beautiful day. It is a beautiful day. And uh, we have got something a little bit different today. Um, we are going to be doing some... Uh, oh, what the heck? What is the sound I hear? Oh, shush. Uh, anyway, we're uh, going to be doing some different stuff today. We're going to be playing... My original game, my original mistress, my original lover, Magic the Gathering. Uh, that is, uh, I'm all about magic. Uh, and I've been playing magic since I was 13 years old. So this is um, really the first card game I ever played. It's really the first game I remember playing. Um, anything before magic was like... Scrabble, <laughs> like that's pretty much it. Um, but you know, it's weird for our stream not to have like um, artifact playing in the background. So I'm just gonna. Is this what is this? This is like a different sound. This is like a different music. Whatever, we're gonna play this music too. Uh, somebody need MTG Arena beta keys? Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I forgot that we were just, I mean, we we're giving, we're not giving away artifact beta keys. We're giving away magic arena beta keys, right? Oh, wait, sorry. Just kidding. No, we're not doing that. We're going to be, uh, <laughs> we're definitely going to be giving away artifact beta keys. Um, and it's cool because um, I'm going to adjust this uh, beta key giveaway. Let's uh, put this for one hour and our first giveaway is going to be for subscribers only subscribers only and then after the first hour we will do a uh follower giveaway that's what we gonna do that's what we gonna do uh so for everybody who is a sub you do have to be in the room and uh capitos thank you for the twitch prime subscription uh, but yes, so you have to be uh, a Twitch Prime or Twitch whatever. Um, you have to be a subscriber to the channel for the first giveaway. So I'm going to put that down. Uh, and let's uh, rate it T for, for Tetra. Thank you for the follow. Um, let's close this bad boy. And all right. So, in order, if you are a subscriber, in order to uh, get into the beta key giveaway, just type that exclamation point, Rob AJG, yeah, yeah, and uh, you will get tossed in. You get 11 tickets. I mean, not that that makes a big difference, but you get 11. And uh, so, this is going to be probably the best odds you've ever had to get a beta key <laughs> right now, because... I'm looking in, uh, I only have a total of 60 subs, okay? 60, six, zero. Uh, Neb714, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Um, and most of the time, these um, giveaways are like e anywhere between like 300 people to like 1,200 people. And this is definitely your chance. Uh, Penguin Maniac, thank you for that sub. Uh, it's this is your chance to really get your this is your best chance. I don't know how to put that. Like, and I mean, if you have a Twitch Prime subscription, it doesn't even cost you anything. Like, it's uh, but we're gonna keep it open for an hour. Uh, so that way, if people do want to uh, come in, uh, Rob, are you the same one from Clash? I am, I am the Rob AJG from uh, Clash Royale. I just started playing that game not too long ago, so uh, but. I, uh, I'm definitely excited about playing it. So again, yes, if you have the $5 hookup, hook a brother up, hook a brother up. Like, let's go. Um, because the big thing that you have to remember is I am new to streaming. Um, not another weep streamer. Thank you for that Twitch Prime subscription. Um, I'm new to streaming. So it's important for me to be able to have guys like you on the stream and being able to help out. Um, and if you want to be my friend in Clash Royale, please. I don't know how you request friends in that game. I just 
play the game. Um, but no name 6500, you are not getting any points because the first hour is subscribers only. Subscribers only. Turnip boy. Thank you for that Twitch Prime subscription. So yes, after the first hour will be the follower um, drawing. So again, if you want to help out, you can always retweet. Uh, I just went live. Uh, let's see. I just posted something on Twitter now. Um, so come on through. Let me find that. Let's let's find that uh, Twitter. Let's find that Twitter. Let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Um, and how do I get points? You get 11 points just for uh, being a subscriber. So yeah, that's all you got to do. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put, here's, if you want to help me out, feel free to uh, retweet this. That would be great. That would help me out. And, uh, but, uh, comatose five. Thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Um, but yes, this is you got 56 minutes. I can guarantee you that this uh subscriber only drawing will have less than uh 100 people, guarantee. And even if it had less than 300 people, you would still have better odds than you had pretty much anywhere else to get a beta key. So, but let's play some magic. Let's play some magic. I'm ready. I'm ready. Thank you for that retweet. Awesome. Um, and let's uh, let's take a peek. Let's see what's going on here. So supposedly, it look, and I want to make sure everybody knows, Wizards of the Coast was nice enough, nice enough to uh, hook me up with a Guilds of Ravnica account that has all the goodies. And, I, and I, by all the goodies, I mean like all the goodies. So like... I have four of everything, four of everything, uh, all seven, seven. Thank you for that Twitch prime sub, or excuse me for that sub. That's a tier one. That's a good ones. Um, so yeah, I got all the cards here, got them all. And, uh, but we're probably not going to do constructed because you know, like I don't really want to play constructed. I want to do, actually, I really want to do draft, but I don't think that there's enough people in, um, cause it's only streamers right now. Uh, so that's that's the big thing. Uh, when when we do the artifact announcement you mentioned in the previous tweet, um, I will be doing that announcement at the beginning of the artifact portion of our stream, and that art that that announcement will come. And uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, I'm currently waiting to get an Omnath Locust of Mana for my next commander. Yeah, you have to draft against the uh, no. So like you can draft, but the problem is that after you draft, like getting actual games is the problem. <laughs> so we're going to run on this sealed and we are going to, we get to keep playing until we get to three losses. So we need to get that seven wins, seven big ones. And uh, for everybody counting at home, I love Demir. I love the blue black. So I'm not sure if we can get blue black, but uh, if we do, it's going to be little John status. It's going to be, yeah, if we can do that. So, uh, Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Go. How much is 2,000 gems? I don't know. How much is it? Um, I do want to purchase it. Here we go. What do we got? Let me see. Hit me. Oh, we got some black cards and some green cards. Um, when this becomes tapped, make some lifelink guys. Choose a creature card with converted mana that costs one, two, and three and bring them back. That card's whatever. Uh, that card's not great. Uh, well, here's why. So Experimental Frenzy, I can look at the top card of my library anytime. I can play it. I can't play cards in my hand. Uh, and I can pay four to destroy this. So cards, not that great. And Erratic Cyclops, whenever you cast or an instant or sorcery, it gets plus X plus zero, which is a converted mana cost. And it has Trample. That card's actually not terrible. Um, destroy all creatures with converted mana cost three or less. I like, I like it. And return two creature cards from my graveyard to my hand. Or for six, I can put two counters on all creatures I control. And then all creatures get negative four, negative four. Hey, hey. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Um, let's, let's sort by our... Those are the only six we got. We didn't get no, no mythics. Jeez. 
horse crap. Uh, so my first inclination uh, whenever I play sealed is I just... Um, why am I down on Frenzy? Um, well, because it says I can't play cards from my hand. And so that essentially says that... Um, like, all the cards... I have to pay four mana to get back to what it is. And I still draw cards every turn. So whatever I draw, I'm not able to play. Um, so my first, just my first inclination is to say that this card is not so great, but, uh, I'm, I could be wrong. Uh, but I'm thinking that we could be playing green, white, black. And so that's where I'm going to start. And ugh, get off. I don't want automatic land suggestions. I don't need your suggestions, bro. I know how to play this game. Jeez. What up guys? What up four second, uh, ID? All right, so let's filter. We already know we don't got none of these. Let's look at the commons, uncommons, and let's look in our, we're gonna do a quick build so that we can just get playing. I just haven't seen any of these cards, guys, so you'll have to forgive me. Uh, I'm gonna just basically have to kind of read. Uh, Enchanted creature can't block and its activated abilities can't be activated. Oh, that seems fine, let's put that in there. Um, when the, this attacks with at least two other creatures, create a 1-1. One, one. This seems not that great, unless we have a way to make it bigger. Flying lifelink, okay, I get with that. Uh, Hunted witness, got a couple of those. Target creature gets plus two, plus two, two on the turn. Gain one life for each attacking creature I control. Eh, that's okay. First strike mentor, that card seems busted. Uh, when 10th district enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus zero, plus one until end of turn. That seems all right. Uh, 10th District Guard, when 10th District Guard enters the battlefield, target creature gets plus... Oh, that's the one I just saw. Okay, we'll just start there. Um, Rock Charger, when it attacks target creature without fl without flying, gains flying? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, two one ones with lifelink, that seems whatevs. Um, plus three, plus two vigilance seems okay. Call of the Culprit, that's removal. Um, convoke, Flying Vigilance Mentor, yes. When this enters the battlefield, tap two target. That card seems fine. Uh, six mana, convoke, gain four. Greetings from Brazil. What up, Luis C? What up, bro? All the way down in Brazil. That sounds awesome. I want to go down there. I thought there's, I heard there's a lot of beautiful women. Beautiful women in Brazil. Um, target creature gets plus X plus zero, where that's the number of creatures in the graveyard. Uh, that could be fine. Target creature return an online card from it. It's a flying 1 1 that I can sack to eat a card in their hand. All right, we'll start there. One damage to each opponent. Each opponent discards a card and takes the top card into their graveyard. Yeah, that's whatever. Sadly, not going to survive to the giveaway. Sleep needed. Thank you. Sorry, friend. I know. Normally, I try to be earlier. So um, my folks in the UK and other time zones that aren't United States can, you know, participate. But, um, not this time. Sorry, had real life happen this morning and um, just couldn't help you out there, friends. Um, Spinal Centipede. Sorry, I, I guess this, you can see that never happened there. Um, but Spinal Centipede, when it, when it dies, put a counter on a creature I control. Okay. Uh, let's see. When this enters the battlefield, target creature gains menace and plus X plus zero. Which, yeah, okay, getting menace is fine. Sacrifice another creature, put a counter on this, it gains menace. Okay. Um, when it enters the battlefield, deals one damage to target opponent for each creature in your graveyard. So seven mana, six, five. Um, <laughs> chill out. <laughs> I can't help it. Can't help it. I'm excited. It's been so long since I've been able to play Magic, so you have to, you know, this is my pre-release, guys. Jeez. Don't ruin it for me, bro. Um, sacrifice a creature with Defender to draw a card. No. Prey upon. Yes. Uh, this gains indestructible, defender reach, no thanks. Uh, enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land or gate, and put it, yes. Uh, enters the battlefield, draw a card for three, that doesn't, not that exciting to me. Uh, one fours, flying, con instant convoke, uh, f double fog, uh, let's see. So two basic lands, put them on the, the battlefield, this could be fine. Uh, Ceratok, Convoke Trample, Hexproof Trample, yep. I don't need any of this. Status, what does this do? Plus one, plus one, Death Touch, yep. We want all of that. We want Locket, yes, Death Touch, and... 
we need a green white um convoke vigilance green black guild gate green white guild gate all right so we've got 39 cards so we have way too many cards oh get out of here forest um actually i'll take these out too um our deck is kind of light playing lockets you said um well these lockets aren't in my colors so i can't really i mean quad black probably isn't probably isn't gonna work for me um but i do have a bunch of gates so um but i've got to cut down 13 cards so <laughs> let's let's look um i've got 22 creatures so we need we can cut a bunch of those down uh we need to cut down probably eight creatures um hunted witness i do like because it um i don't uh, let's we can definitely cut one of those um pilfering imp let's just cut it whatever uh stalwart first strike mentor is too good um we don't need those guys two creatures from our graveyard yep yep this card is the stones centipede okay i like getting my lands reach favor assassin uh convoke two four two three vigilance mentor uh how similar is artifact and magic to gathering to me like the thing about artifact and um uh magic is you know there's the future planning side of it where you're just trying to manage your board but that's like as far as that goes because like an, an artifact there's so much stuff to manage uh you evaluate cards differently you don't have mana um you're almost always in every game that you play as opposed to uh, magic where sometimes you just get pooped on and you just, you know, you just lose. So it's, uh, yeah, I need to play an extra hunted witness because I have ways to sacrifice creatures that do stuff. Um, I like convoke hexproof. I like convoke trample. I like convoke vigilance. Uh, I like being able to bring stuff back. Uh, tapping two creatures, um, you know nothing about magic, but you'll understand. So um, what I'll do is once I'm, right now I'm just trying to cut down, I need to, in magic you usually only play about 23 uh, cards uh, in your deck, and then you'll play about 17 lands. And you do need to have, it's you need lands of that particular color in order to cast things. And in my deck, um, what I'm looking at now is, I've got 29 cards, and I I've got 16 creatures and I've got 13 lands or 13 non lands. So this needs to be 25 or excuse me, 23. So I need to cut down on my non creature spells. Uh, probably I might just play 16 and then I'll get seven. So I got to cut six more non creature spells. Um, so um, I could cut demolition. Um, take heart, I think is going to be good for our deck. Uh, let's cut this one. We do like to fight. This one is going to be great for us. Finality will be great. This is awesome card. Um, also very good. Three mana, three twos, three mana. Um, I could probably cut this guy. We need three more. Um, I don't know if I need a locket and or both lockets. Jeez, I don't even have anything that's really that expensive. Um. Flying Vigilance Mentor seems really good. Uh, Undercity. Sacrifice another creature. Yeah, I think. I mean, I think that card's going to end up being good. Oh, we can cut that one. Uh, Menagerie. I don't know that this card is any good. Um, I mean, we'll be able to cast it and use it, and it'll it should work. But, uh, you know, it, it's very possible it doesn't work. We still have to cut two cards. Oh, gosh. Um, all right. Cutting take heart and one of these lockets. Um, we will cut the green white locket. All right. So from here, I'm going to play my guild gates. We'll put those bad boys in there and we will let the computer suggest the rest for us so that we can just get moving and we are done on our sealed all right here we go Ugh. ready ready 
Let's do this. Um, but in case you're wondering, there is a uh, there is a giveaway going on, but this is for the subscribers only. And all they have to do is exclamation point Rob AJG to enter the drawing. And they will, like I said, there is only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are 10 people, 10 people in this giveaway right now. You have a 10% chance of winning a beta key right now. That is so insane. Uh, so, you know, don't say I never did anything for you. Not even looking at red just in case the removal is good. No, I'm just trying to uh, go quickly so that we can try it. Cause I, I'm gonna, I really only stream for about two hours. So I wanna make sure that we get through this quickly and then we can, uh, we can do some more from there. Um, we don't need to play any black mana right now, but it's not gonna hurt us there. I don't believe that there's any land destruction that we need to stress ourselves with. But this first strike mentor, baby, 90% chance of not winning. Look at this. Oh, yeah. 90, if on the. Um, our hand is poopy. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, seven lands and two spells. Um, will you like that bumper image of Earthshaker? Yeah. Hook it up, bro. How often do you normally stream? Um, I you Normally, I stream most mornings from uh, 7 a.m. my time till 9 a.m. my time, and I'm Mountain Standard Time, and we, you know, do artifact games. Oh, my God, another land? Are you kidding me? Um, so that's normally how it goes. Yeah, this hand, um, I'm announcing the uh, eSports team um, around the, right, like, we're going to do this for an hour, and then after this, when we get into our actual artifact uh, stream, then I will uh, I will talk about that. Let's get in there, patrol. Go. Well, the good news is that our opponent has only cast a chromatic lantern, <laughs> and uh, so we'll have and we have a pack's favor. So next turn, I do get to attack and with a first striker. And if he blocks with something, I get to pack favor my guy. And when I also attack, I get to pump this thing and make it a... Th um, right, because mentor, did I put a creature with less. So actually, I'd have to pack favor this first and then attack. I don't know if I like that quite as much, but I do want to... Mountain is two hours behind EST. Yes. Um, I don't want to have to do this first. Um, but if I don't draw anything... Well, if he's going to do that, then I, I just will. And if he blows me out with a removal spell, he blows me out with a removal spell. We just need spells. I mean, that's the big thing for our hand right now is he has four cards. He hasn't done anything. And then he just... Now we really just get to Pax Favor, attack, and put a counter on this. Let's go. Let's go. Um, Mela, 2424. Thank you for the sub. Um... All right, so we do have a Convoke Hexproof. I think that card is, is pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this costs nine, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so let's let's get some damages in real quick alike. And let's get a, let's mentor that bad boy. Yeah. Oh, dude, they've got some new animations. That's actually kind of sick. Um, or our opponent's at six and still hasn't cast a creature. So <laughs> let's, let's see where we're at. Niv Mizzet. Uh, what the, f what does Niv Mizzet do? Um, can't be countered when he draws a card, it deals one damage. Whenever a player casts a instant or sorcery, he draws a card. Okay. Well then. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We are close to Convoke Hexproof, and Niv Mizzet don't want none of that. He, he don't want none of that. He don't want none of that. Um, so if I attack with both, he will certainly block both. Um, so I don't have a real reason. Uh, wait, sir, thank you for that Twitch Prime subscription. And there are 38 minutes left in the giveaway. So for the subscribers only, uh, that's you, boys. My poor guy. Oh, no. 
So what's the worst thing that can happen to us? Um, if he drew like seven, if he drew six cards right now, we would definitely scoop because <laughs> we can't beat that. Um, but if he doesn't and we get to cast this, we should be in pretty good shape. We should be all right. Um, this would be one of those times where I would love to have that one white card that says he can't block. Um, but I didn't play that. Two damage to any target. Ow. And then it's going to deal one. Ow. Pew, pew. Oh, no. Oh, no. It has jump start. No. <laughs> Here it comes. Yep. Yep. All our guys are dying. Turns out Niv Mizzet's a good one. Too bad he can't. Oh, I was like, I guess he could attack with his 1 1. Yeah, gain that life, boy. Um, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Mm. Yeah, hit me with the spell. See if I care. I'm not scared of you. What? Eight? Oh, it costs nine. Jeez. Can't count. Uh, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah. Jumpstart just lets him cast it again, and uh, it's not that fun. My poor life linker. I should have just attacked with that because it was going to die anyway. But now I'm going to play them fatties. I'm going to play them fatties, baby. We just need a pump spell. Pump spell would go super hard right now. Or him just not having a removal spell. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, well, you haven't. the reason you haven't played this block is it, it actually just got released today. So don't feel bad. Like, don't feel bad at all. Because um, we're just currently getting punked. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What up, chat? What up? What up, Gimpy Joe? How you doing, bro? Um, we're currently uh, getting... Uh, pooped all over because uh even though we had our opponent at seven um the artifact beta keys you have to be a sub to uh be part of the the first giveaway and that's what's going on man if we had a haste seven power oh how good would that be um but yeah instead we're just dead all right well well that was fun drew a bunch of nothing and um Bond in stock. Thank you for that. Uh, subscribe. Yeah, I was gonna say like he played one spell. He he played one creature and then killed every single thing we had and then just drew a million cards. So yeah, and we drew a bunch of land. It was great because if we actually had drawn like like right at that moment there was a point where we could have drawn the card that brings back all of our guys and we would have probably been okay. Oh, it's noxious. What up, dude? He's probably streaming right now. He's like, God, that Rob AG, he's such a bum. He's such a bum. Um, We've got green, white, and a locket. And um, yeah, he's going first. Let's do this. We just need any land. Okay, well, that gets land. So if we can just get a, a third one. We'll, we'll be able to play the magics. All right. Ask and ye shall receive. So we're going to, on turn three, we're going to play uh, this guide and uh, and go from there. Um, do we want to play a swamp? There's no reason not to play the swamp. All right. So we'll play the district guide as a blocker on this Okapi. Okapi. Yes, I would like to take that action. Um, we need, we don't need, we have double green, we have double white, and um, the key will give us double black, but I'll just get another swamp. Anyway, um, and 
in this particular situation, he if he attacks, which he almost certainly will, we will block. Um, because we have ways of bringing back uh, creatures and such. Gotta rob them of their victories. Can't wait for Mythic Rares and Artifacts. You shut your mouth, Condonis. Condonis. Whatever. Don't you dare. Don't you wish that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Uh, yes, I will block. Uh, we don't want we don't want them mythic rares in uh, in artifact. We want our just normal whatevs. Um, all right, so this is a two three. We can get finality going. Well, let's just play a four three. Let's let him deal with this. We need mythics for the shinies, mythic rares. So uh, in magic, there's commons uncommons rares and then there's mythic rares so like regular rares you get one per pack and there's like 15 cards in a pack but mythic rares you get like four in a whole box and a box is 32 packs so like one out of eight packs might have a mythic rare in it so like they're silly um they're just basically super expensive stuff uh all right let's play a planes we're gonna get in there for four and see See what kind of gasoline he has jumping out at us right now? Nothing, just four, sweet. Uh, all right, you can have some of this too. I don't know if there's wrath. Is there wrath in this set? Anybody? Anybody want to help? <laughs> uh huh. Capture sphere, what does this do? Um, enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature, doesn't untap. All right, and this destroys enchantments. Okay. And this guy has death touch. And put two counters on the negative four to everything. I think I can hold out on that one. Um, so let's get a swamp in here. We're going to want to play this patrol, but I think we can do lock it, then patrol. Um, so, because this gives us plus one, plus one death touch. This, we can return two creature cards. Um, yeah, I just don't really want to... I'm going to save that for another time. Let's untap that real quick. And then, so let's lock it. And then after we lock it, we will play patrol. And... Oh, whoops, did I... Oh. Okay, here we go. And uh, we'll try to go patrol over the top and we'll see if he'll play some more stuff because, um, I mean, there part of me says like, because I have this in my hand that I, uh, I just attack and let him block. And, but I could also get more cards this way. Like I could just wait for him to play another thing that's less than four. Um, so yeah, I'm just not going to attack. Um, what does Death Touch mean in terms of artifact? Yeah, so Death Touch is essentially... So Apotheos Apotheosis Blade in artifact has... Uh, whenever um, the creature with the Apotheosis Blade deals damage or to another creature, it condemns it. That is Death Touch. So basically, condemn is... If you were to destroy whatever is in front of you, regardless of its power and toughness, because of the damage you deal, that would be Condemn and or Death Touch. Venomancer just got released. Oh, snap. Uh, Tyler3332, thank you for the Twitch Prime subscription. Um, does the Deckmaster extension not work on this release, or am I bugging out? No, I don't think it works. So, what did he just cast? Uh, target creature gets negative two, negative four. Fine. That guy was going to die anyway. Heh. <laughs> Joke's on you, stupid. Um, we're going to go up top with this with this bad boy. Um, I could also uh, destroy this enchantment, uh, EOT, and then untap and cast this and put two counters. Uh, actually, no, that doesn't work. Dang it. I'm just going to draw some cards. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Um, actually, yeah, let's go. Let's go. And then uh, let's get this let's get this monster in. Because now he has to block. 
and then we again i i could cast finality um but i could just use the find banana mancer banana mancer is good huh you like it you like it you think it's decent it's pretty decent we'll talk about it on uh, the next hour Uh, when he comes into play, draw a card. Go for it. Because I'm about to kill your whole team. In case you're wondering. Your whole squad's about to get done up, bro. Because we're going to... We're going to mentor. We're going to mentor this little assassin. This assassin's going to learn from this uh, human knight how, the ways of war. Why didn't you attack? You should have attacked, friend. Um, I need green, green, black, black. I do not have it. All right. Time to teach him the ways of war. Enjoy your death. You must block both of them. Ha ha. I'll teach you. Uh, yeah, that was cool. Now we just have to see what are, what he wants to do now, because I'm pretty sure EOT, I'm just going to release this guy from his, uh, his cage, and we're going to go ham. Um, can't quite tell you yet, but I may have some awesome news to share during the stream. What was that tweet for? Well, you're going to have to find out right after the magic portion of our stream. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, return target land from the graveyard to the battlefield. 6-6. Six, six. Okay. Okay, buddy. Well, I was going to release this guy, but now I'm not so sure. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Plus one, plus one death touch is pretty good. You want to prey upon my guy? Well. I mean. I guess I'll give my guy death touch. I guess I'll pee pee touch you. Pee pee touch. Pew pew. What? Oh, I was going to say, I thought my kid's guy didn't die. Holy sh. I was so scared. Oh my God. Uh, all right. Good thing that didn't happen. Let's draw some cards. Let's get two more. Ooh, we got a hot one, boys. We got a hot one. Um, yeah, let's get busy, bro. Let's get busy. Let's get that soul going. Soul glow. Uh, and then we're going to play this under folk. This under folk. And then we'll leave, uh, well, we need to leave green green up, which we did. All right. All right. So good. I get to sack those guys and give this guy menace. We're doing it. What does this do? Draw a card for each of... Oh my god! Wow! Got rid of the last card in my hand. Scum. Are we skipping a bunch of frames? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Alright, hold up. Let's turn that off. And... What else do we have running here? And we're still ugly. We're still nasty looking. Um, all right. So I can. This is a sorcery. Um, was it that bad? My friend, my my fault. Uh. <laughs> Cable D, what up, dude? Uh, I gotta figure out how to beat this guy. Um, so, if I attack, I can sack this guy, make him not block. Um, if I attack with both, he'll just block my guy here. Um, oh, I can, what am I doing? I can just prey upon here. Pff, stupid. Um, get out. <laughs> Maybe I could just read. Um... That would probably be pretty strong. 
There you go. There you go. Noxious. Sorry about that whammy, bro. Convoke trample. Don't care. You're dead. You did. Uh, all right. So I, if I attack with everybody, um, I'll make a token here. Um, before blocks, I can sack here to make him a four. And then he has to have a removal spell. So I could just attack with just this guy by himself. Um, and I think that's probably better. I would like to activate. And I will pay one. I will sacrifice this monster. This monstrosity. Mm-hmm. So I could make two more, but that's only six. It is not enough. So we're going to menace him to death. Menace him. Got him, coach. We got him. And now he needs... He needs a miracle, Noxious. Quick maths, Rob. Oh, no. Still dead. Still dead. Still dead. See you later, buddy. See you later, little buddy. Twas nice knowing you. Because he has to double block here, and then this guy... Um, oh, no, it doesn't. That doesn't kill him. Darn it. That only does two. Because it doesn't come into play attacking. Oh, Josh. Gosh darn it. Um, all right. So if I attack with him, and he double blocks, um, then... I would deal two here to put him to one. He would only have one guy left. I would have three tokens left. He would be at one with one guy. Um, what do we think? If I hold off and he kills this thing, um, I'm in a bad spot. So I think I'm just going to get it. I think I'm just going to get it. Let's go get it. Okay. Now he needs... Nay, got him! Nah, I don't need a code. Just here to support me. Yeah, Cable D. What up, dog? What up? Um, my insomnia paid off. It's Rob Stream. What up, Teradin? We got there against Noxious. We showed him what's up with these little tokes. These little toke tokes. Little Timmy. Got him. We got one win. Um, So, let's get another one. Let's see what we could do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and uh, I'm always happy to beat people who are like really good, right? Um, Ryaki, thank you for that tier one sub. There's only 19 minutes left in our sub only artifact giveaway. There are currently less than 20 people in this bad boy. Less than 20. Can you believe it? Less than 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Um, 19, play, 19 people in the giveaway for the artifact. Uh, that's sick. I want to enter. Can I enter? Hold on. Let me see. If I type in exclamation point Rob AJG, am I getting in it? <laughs> that would be such hacks. No one would ever watch my stream ever again. <laughs> Um, all right, we've got three colors. We've got all the gas. We are good to go on this one. We good to go. Um, it's rigged, rigged. Razdav uh, one 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 two. Thank you for that Twitch Prime. I always call it Twitch Prime. Just sub. Maybe stop being a bum, Bert, Roberto. Stop being stupid. Um, so you do you sub and are you entered? If you sub, then you just hit exclamation point Rob AJG and you're in. You in it. We're going to give one away. We're going to do this. And then what's even better about it is 
if you you get to be part of the sub only giveaway and then during the regular portion of the uh of the evening you uh get 10 tickets on the uh the other one so subs have a t- is have 10 times the chance of winning a key uh when they do i have a discord i do not have a discord currently um but yeah we'll just have to kind of see how that goes um all right, three mana, hasn't done anything. He might attack with his 1-1 one, one because he knows I'm not going to block, and then he could just block here, but he says, new. No. Uh, so we're going to get this healer hawk up in the air, up in the er. And we're going to go hawk, and then next turn we get to patrol, and then we get to make our healer hawk even bigger. How many? If you pick me, Rob, I'll talk with my uncle who works at Valve and make sure Mythic Rares don't get implemented. Dude, thank you. I appreciate you know you looking out for the little guy, giving back to the community. <laughs> we just don't want to see a prey upon. Prey upon would be very bad. Um, so I could attack here just to trade. Um, actually, I think I should do that and see if he'll block, so that way he can't like prey upon my flyer. He probably will just block here, um, but if he doesn't, let's say he, like, blocks there. Um, my guy has, oh, my guy has first strike. He can't block here. He has to block here. Um, you can give your guy death touch. Okay. You're going to be in for a rude awakening. I've got some bad news. I've got some bad news. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. See ya. I need you to step on out, bro. Need you to step on out. Exit stage left with that wall. With that booty. I don't play those games. Get that booty out of here. Get up, get up. Get up. <laughs> Inspiring unicorn. When it attacks, creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Yeah, get in there, Brusif. You about to get handled. You about to get handled, and I have Wrath of God in my hand. Oh no! Oh no! Let's go, mentor me. Get big. Mm-hmm. Dude. Mm. 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 Our our deck is coming coming together quite nicely right now. And when we cast this, we destroy our opponent. <laughs> and we get to do this too. Ooh, boy. Ooh, boy. Uh, hyper rare cosmetics are fine. Encourage hyper race race cards. But yeah, I, I just, um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of mythics. Uh, what does it say? Destroy target creature. No. What will I ever do? Um, flying vigilance, no blocks. That guy blocks though. Um, <laughs> so I could give my guy plus one, plus one death touch attack and then make this a three as well because he has one card in hand. Um, so, and then try to end this game. I think we're going to do that. I think we're going to do that. I like it. I like that plan. Plus one, plus one death touch, please. Who here wants the key the most? Me. I want a key. Cabled. I'd like a key. Can you can you hook a brother up with a key? <laughs> I'll take another one. And then when he attacks with this thing, I get to block your blocky blocks. Let's go. Uh, what does this do? It it poops. It makes a pooping sound. Um, at the beginning of your upkeep, exile a creature from your graveyard. If you do, put a counter on this. Otherwise, sacrifice it. Discard a creature card, so you put a plus one, plus one counter on it. This does nothing. Um, this costs seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, all right. So if we give our guy plus one, if we give... 
let's see. I could Wrath and keep one guy, but he's actually doing nothing right now, so I don't really feel the er a reason that I need to do that. Um... My graveyard only has one creature, so we're just going to go up top for five. Um, and then, uh, let's see, Cabled, thank you for gifting that sub. That's the first gift sub in the channel. Ayo, hey, ayo. Hey, you doing big things, bro. <laughs> I will metaphorically duck a sick for a bit of key. Wow, dude. Caleb coming through with the... That's good stuff right there, bro. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, we're probably going to just play find next turn and then bring our guys back. So, good guy cabled. Um, our opponent just gave up. Mm, hey, turns out this card's good. We get to bring back a one drop, two drop, and three drop. So we get to bring back uh, both those guys. Uh, or I can do this. And I can kill his team for a turn. Um, so I can kill both those guys. It'll kill this. This will make this a four. And this guy will come back. And then next turn, I get to bring back... Um, two guys so that doesn't make any sense so i can just cast this instead um if it goes to your subs it should tell you where it is in where it's in use what i'm in subscriptions and there's no active subs I don't know what that means. I'm confused. Sorry. Uh, this and this. I was in the same situation. Twitch Prime is a scam in most countries. I tried it. It doesn't work. Oh, I don't know. Having some trouble with their Twitch. Oh, okay. Sorry. You guys handle all that. I'm going to keep trying to win some magic games. If you don't mind. Uh, Ruzi. Thank you for that tier one subscription. Um, we got that win, boys. We got two. We got 10 minutes left in the uh, to enter the subscriber-only beta key giveaway. Uh, and then after that, we will uh, do the one for followers only. Um, did you see Valve News Network video of the alpha prototype of Artifact? Uh, so I heard about it, um, but I haven't actually seen it. We're playing against Chris Clay. You know who Chris Clay is, guys? Do you know who Chris Clay is? Isn't Chris Clay like the CEO of Watsi? I'm pretty sure. Hold on. Hold up. Un momento, por favor. Um, Chris Clay. Uh, Wizards. Uh, let's see. Chris Clay is the principal game designer for Wizards of the Coast. What up, Chris? All right. All right, guys. We got to handle him real fast. We got to handle business. Hold on. We got to concentrate. We got to... We got a stretch. We got that one, two, and three drop. We ready to get busy on the CEO today. Uh, Ritter, FTW, thank for that Twitch Prime. Um, our hand is boss. One drop, two drop, and three drop. Um, and we have perfect mana. Time to get the... You about to, you about to catch these hands, Chris. I hope you're ready for this smoke, bro. Um, he was just here ghosting. Um, all right, so... Healer Hawk. I'll attack. Yes. Let's play our rare. <laughs> mm. I, I, I still, I, if he doesn't play a two drop, he's going to be in deep doo doos. Deep doo doo. Doo 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 doo. Oh, he played a two drop. Scum. Scum. Uh, anyway, uh, we are just going to get busy up top. And let's thin our deck a little bit. Yes, I would like to take take action. Um, I have a swamp. I need a plains, it looks like. Um, good luck to everybody. You got eight minutes left on that uh, Aleko. Uh, or, yeah, Aleko. I always say, well, I don't know why he's doing that. 
Uh, <laughs> Aleko, what up, dude? What up, my homie? Um, all right, so what does this guy do? He gets plus two for five. No thanks. Eat some of this. Eat some of these, if you don't mind, sir. Uh, Z Dex Tur Turex, thank you for that pr switch subscription. Um, all right, here we go. Let's get that hunted witness in, huh? We just need a pump spell because so we can get this guy, get this guy going, or one of our convoke spells. Um, we've only drawn four spells and we have seven lands, so we just need some action. I want some action. Uh, what does this do when it dies? All right. Does this have reach? Nope. All right. Get in there, baby hawk. Um, Vigilance 4 is kind of rough. It's kind of rough. Um, I guess I can block, block, block like that and pray he doesn't have a removal spell. Um <sighs> We real there's no crack there's no fetch lands in this set. Um, we just need a way to go up top. That's really what we're looking for now. Uh, we're ten life up, and he has no way to deal with this. So we one of our the flyer that can wait. What does this do? Um, when it enters the battlefield, exile. When it enters the battlefield, exile target non land permanent opponent controls until it leaves. Okay, no problem. Um, he only left this up. Um, so, and this makes, uh, two two-twos. Hmm. Hmm. I'm just going to take that because, so he's dealing four. He's actually only dealing three and we drew more land. Not great. Not great. Dimitri, 38 to 99. Thank you for the subscription. Uh, how many lands am I running? I'm only running 17 lands. 17 only. And, uh. We are real good at drawing them. Uh, we really just want our convoke. Um, either the we either either want our flyer or the convoke hexproof guy. Um, Seventeen and limited still seems high with the amount of crack lands. What do you mean? There's no what? What are you talking about? Crack lands? What's what's a crack land? There's no fetch lands. Those don't exist, friend. Um. All right, so he can make this guy a four four. Um. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes 18, I was going to say. Like, there's no fetch lands. So, if there was... If I had fetch lands, um, we wouldn't... You know... Well, if I was running fetch lands, I would just still run 17, but I would be able to fetch. So, this is what we need. That's the card we needed. Oh. Ooh, hey now. Wrath of God. Um... I like Wrath of God. Uh, so it'll make two guys for him, but I can make a 3-6 here. Um, there so I'm just trying to think what rationale I have. 2-3-4. So what I need to do is have him attack again and then block, block, block here to kill it and then cast this next turn. Um, so... That's what we're going to do. Yeah, I mean, what happens too in uh, in Arena, there's been plenty of games where um, I, I, would, I would actually go up to 18. <laughs> um, and let's pray that we're not getting ghosted. Because <laughs> if we're getting ghosted, we're going to lose. Yeah. All right, now play two two drops. <laughs> Let's go. Did the artifact content already happen? No, we're gonna do artifact content. Oh no! F five fives, still good. Um. All right, let's let's cast this thing. Finality. Um. One two three four five six. Um, I would like to take action. And no attacks. 
All right. <laughs> exactly. Ghosted by Chris Clay. You're going to get me. Um, he's still got four cards and we only have two. Um, so we've got to figure, we got to find out something because this has trample. Oh my God. Another tribunal. Oh, oh, that's so hurtful. Chris, why you got to do me like this, bro? Broseph. All right. Give me some. Um, okay. That'll be fine when we draw a creature. Oh, this, oh wait, hold on. This destroys an artifact or an enchantment. So I could make my four guy. I could also make this guy EOT and then attack and make a token. So, um, cause we're going to take, so if he attacks with both, I can destroy this to make the two, two, I can block this guy and then, um, I hear some subscriptions. Uh, Junichi O Ow, thank you for the sub. And Artifact New Hero One, thank you for the subscription. So yeah, what we're gonna do is when he attacks, we will um actually I'm just gonna EOT. What did he say? Oops, I don't understand. Um end of turn, he'll attack. We'll take six, go to four. Mm-hmm. And then we just have to hope he doesn't play anything right here. Like, if he doesn't play anything, um, gain 4-4, four, four, that sucks. <sighs> okay, well, now we have a bigger problem. Um, so we're at 4. We can... This has trample. Um, blah, 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 blah. Just trying to think what our outs are here. Um, because I bringing, this, bringing either of these back doesn't do anything because this is going to be a 2-2. Two, two. Um, and if I attack, it's it's just going to get eaten by this. And then I have a 1 that I can block here. Um, so it's not, it's not that great. Um, let's just draw some cards and see what we can find. Oh, uh, this is sealed. Um, okay, we drew two creatures, so that's a that's a step. And one, so we need to have black or green up. So one, two, three, four for this bad boy. And. All right. So now we have, he attacks with everything. I have to block here and then I give it first strike, death touch and kill it. He will kill my guy here and then we have to pray. <laughs> that's, that's, the, that's the only option. He should have attacked with this guy too. There's no reason not to. Maybe he'll give this guy, um, I was going to say, maybe there was a like a small chance that he might have pumped his guy. And the if you are a sub, the, the time has passed. Wow, way to blow me out. We did. Chris, GG's. GG's. We, uh... Didn't quite get enough. Didn't get quite enough to uh, to get her done. Man, that was like a quick hour. Like, that was like the fastest hour. Oh, whoops, I already hit play. All right. Chris, way to, way to show me what's up, bro. Way to put me in my place. I was talking all that mess. And then you played a 2-2 two -two on turn two. What the heck? I know, could not defeat, I could not defeat the final boss. The final boss, he came through and he destroyed me. Oh God, I will have to work on my Wu-Tang style.
Um, so, <laughs> uh, yes. Hey, Chris, whenever you're ready to, uh, come do, uh, you know, an interview talking about, uh, magic for the podcast, you're more than welcome to come on through. <laughs> so, but thank you for, uh, thanks for beating me down and, uh, and showing me that I talk too much stuff. So, all right, we got one more game and then we will do our giveaway. Uh, this hand looks fine. We have a finality going and we have Convoke. At least we have a mulliganed. Uh, yes, and once they release his final form, how will we beat him? I have no idea. I'll just have to get my Russian friends to uh, to help me out. Be like, oh, comrade, I will help you destroy Mr. Clay, but for a price, for a price. Um, but... MTG Focus still exists. MTG Focus has been rebranded to Potion of Knowledge. Potion of Knowledge. That's what we do. That's what that's what MTG Focus is now. So we do artifact N and magic. Yes. And I get in there. Get in there, Hawk. Uh, Putin. Putin will help you. But only for a price. Only for a price. Um yeah, draw that card, boy. Get that one. Meow, meow. Oh man, I wish I could speak Russian and actually write in Russian. That'd be so sick. What did Dimitri thirty eight ninety nine? What are you saying? What what is going on? What is in chat now? Resolve. Um, it's Simon's cat. Meow. Get him. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I got a witness. Can I get a witness? Um, all right. Our hands have been really subpar, except when we played against Noxious. <laughs> like, we played against Noxious and just, like, beat him down into, like, the smooth ground. Um, same as you. Oh, okay. But on Russian. Oh, okay, cool. Auto tap is fine if you learn to play around it. Yeah, I, <laughs> he said, give bait the key. Give the keys. Give him the keys. Like DJ Khaled. I got them keys. Um... All right, well, we've got the ground pretty gummed up right now. And next turn, we get to convoke the Siege Worm. I'm going to call him up and be like, hey, hey, bro. Hey, hey, Siege Worm, I need, you to do, I need you to get some of this work. I need you to put in some work, bro. And he's going to be like, yeah, I'm here for that work. I'm here for that work. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's 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 just convoke. Uh, oh, do I not have double? Oh, I have double green. Okay. Whew. Thought I didn't have double green there, boys and girls. And then we get to Wrath of God next turn if we draw land. Oh no, our, po our poor opponent. Auto teams especially off. Yeah, like, um, I don't ever use auto tap. I just, all creatures get negative one, negative one. Oh no, what a monster. Destroyed my hawk. And then surveil. That's actually not that bad. We need one land and we still... Wrath of God him. So, whatevs. Whatevs, bro. All right. This, I was, it was much better when we got to keep this guy, but I mean, I'm not going to turn down a good Wrath of God. Who can turn down a Wrath of God? I know I can't. I love it. I love it. Let's put two counters. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. You saw it. Yeah. Brian has that auto-tap life going. Yeah. He's like, get out of here. Give me a new card. Yes, I would like to put a put some counters on this guy before I Wrath of God you. If you don't mind. Mm -hmm. And then we get to bring our guys back and also do the Death Touch Trample life. We live in it. Um, you can manually tap until. Uh, all right, hold on. He just played two things. Um, when this dies, put a counter. Don't care. Uh, gains trample. Also don't care. All right, cool. Let's let's get busy. We all up in this. You don't want this smoke, bro. You don't want this. 
Mm. 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 He's super dead next turn because I get to give this trample and plus one plus one death touch and just go upside his head. Um, I'm too used to using it to be able to turn it off. Yeah, like the thing about auto tap is even in the very beginning, like I was when I was streaming, I um, I had a really bad experience with it. So I immediately turned it off and just never turned it back on. I just never wanted to see it ever again. Uh, so there's that. Now our opponent has two cards in hand. He has four mana up. So like it's possible that he could stop this and then not die when we try to murder him. Um, do we have four? Yeah, we do. Let's let's draw some cards. Green, green, black, black. Give me them cards. Give them to me. I need them all. All right. So we're going to go for it. YOLO swaggers. Swagger Rooney. Swagger Rooney. Get busy. Can I get a witness? Siege Worm doing that work. He wants all the smoke. All that smoke. Mm hmm. G G. My friend. Good. Bye. Goodbye. 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 Mm, move out the way. Get in there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's some good damage. <laughs> never turned down a wrath. I've never met a wrath I didn't like. Um, after so much Hearthstone, Kibler probably had a lot of bad, bad habits to break. Yeah. Um, it's possible. All right, all right. Let's do this giveaway. Let's do this giveaway because my uh, my artifact peeps decided to be awesome and come through and watch me play Magic. And since you did that, I I mean I obviously appreciate you guys sitting through uh, Magic when a lot of you don't even know how to play Magic, um, but you came to support the stream and I appreciate that. And uh, you know, it's it's cool when you do it. I, I'm very happy. So. Over here on the left side, this is where all of our guys who are subs, like I said, the best chance they've ever had of getting picked. And uh, most of these people don't want a key. They don't want one. They don't want this key. You know, and if you don't want the key, you know, just let me know. I won't give it to you. How about that? Okay. Anyway, here we go. Let's pick our winner. And drum roll, please. Boom. S1 Colazzo, you are the winner. Report to stage three. S1 Colazzo, I hope you are in the stream still. Because if you're not, you ain't getting no key. <laughs> Let's see. Is he not here? There he is. There he is. Rigged. Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. Oh, wait. I won. Oh, my gosh. Um... Good for you, friend. Good for you. <laughs> Scam. Scam. All right. So we're going to complete this giveaway. And then we are going to edit it. And we are going to make it for followers only. Followers only. And subscribers will get that bonus 10. So you do you, boo-boo. Good job. Congratulations on that win. Um, I will reach out to you and we'll get it. Uh, <laughs> time to refund my subscription. <laughs> S1 Colazzo is my cousin. He's my brother. God. Rigged. Rigged, I say. I hate them. Hate them. Okay. So um, we only have, well, like, if we get one more loss, we're out anyway. So I'm probably just going to continue to do that until I lose. And then we'll do some artifact stuff. So, um, but here's what, here's the good part now. Here's what you get to do. In order to enter the next contest, you don't have to retweet anything today. I mean, it would be nice if you did. Hey, Colazzo, look at you out here gifting them subs, bro. Look at you. Gifted five subs. You're the man. Thank you for that. Um, Colazzo coming through. That's the dude. You did. You the real. You the real MVP, bro. You the real. Now we need to get Chris Clay to subscribe. Hey, Chris, you still in the chat? I need you to get that subs. You need to get that sub on, bro. <laughs> um, I should have asked him when he was here. He's probably not. He's. I'm certainly not here anymore. Um, <laughs> but uh, here we go. Um, do do do. 
I know Cable was like, dude, I gifted. And then uh, he was like, oh, you got that one gift? Nah, bro. I came through with them, all of them. Um, all right, we're going to start the giveaway now. It's going to run for an, uh, actually, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Nah, you're good. Go ahead. Get up in there. Get up in there. If you, and you all you have to do is type exclamation point, Rob, A-J-G, and you will be entered into the, uh, the next giveaway. And yeah, let's, uh, let's keep going. Get them tickets, bro. Get in there, get in there. And then if you're feeling again, here's the thing. You don't have to retweet anything. Okay. You don't, but it would be nice if you went over to my Twitter and retweeted the thing that says I'm playing, you know, some stuff, it would be helpful, you know, hook a brother up, help me out. Let's get big. We got 110 viewers. Let's get it big. Let's like, let's be one of the, let's be one of the top folks. Hey, thank you for those uh, cheers, bro. Thank you. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's try to get to like two hundo. Let's try to get to two or three hundred friends. Come on now. Let's do this. All right, we're playing against Cap Cap Capolo. I don't know who that is, but they're a streamer of some sort. What up, dude? I'm on your stream. We're hanging out. Let's see if I can do some things. Um, we don't have black mana. So. Oh, no, wait, excuse me. We don't have green mana. Um, and without green mana, our hand is pretty bad. It's pretty bad. Can't play this. Can't play that. Can't do anything with this. This is bad. Mm, all right. We got Wrath of God. We have one black and we have a patrol. We'll keep that. And we have another. Yeah. Let's do this. Um, are you going to 10 p.m. PST or after? What? 10 p.m. PST. Uh, so yeah, 10 p.m. would be 11. So yeah, we'll do, we're going to run the uh, contest until 11. So an hour and we're going to go from there. Oh man, Hunted Witness is in here. No, leave me alone. Leave me alone, Witness. Don't play the two. Okay, O3s. We can deal with those. O3s are fine. Uh, all right. Let's, and then next turn we will pay a black mana and we will get our district guide going to get us a second black. Because we're only taking one right now, which is fine. And we still have uh, current current destroy everything. Sweet. This is with this we will also kill this too. And black mana, please. Our opponent's gonna be really unhappy with us. I mean, if I could, if I would have had a oh wait. I don't have to even play this. Ooh. Ooh. Let's go. All right, guys. Will he play another three drop? Will he do it? Let's see. Oh, six drop. Son of a B. It's too big. Oh, man. I thought I was going to get all the smoke here. Gosh. We're only going to three for one him. That's not good enough. It's not good enough. I was really hoping to get get a little bit more. Should I try to? I mean, I could try to get a little bit more. I could try to get like all of it. Like I could, um, I could put this guy into, um, I could put this guy into play and then like block here. Um, um, if Colazo wins again, I will eat my hat. That would be so sick. Yes, we are doing a beta key giveaway for Artifact, even though we are uh, playing Magic right now. I'm giving away them, giving away those keys for artifact. Um, I'm gonna be super greedy. I'm gonna be super greeds. Let's do it. I don't care. I'm not scared. Um, let's get this guy in here. We're gonna take seven and go to seven <laughs> to try to get one extra card. This is bad math. Because I was going to say, only thing that's good is like if he attacks with this. He's, we getting ghosted. Man, I hate you. I hate you. Uh, yes. You only way you can, the sub giveaway is over. This is now the follower one. All right, three drop. Yeah. Each player gains four. Thanks, Brosif. Um, 
combat uh attacks dude we got paid off on our greed mm, black get out Booyah! And then we get to play uh, Recluse. Mm-hmm. 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 I'm not scared of no 3-2. Got them 1-4s, boy. Got them 1-4s. We got all the greed. We went. We brought all the smoke to your house. All of it. You don't want this. Uh, can you fix so we can see your mouse? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold up. Um... E dashboard. Oh no, editor. And let's go to display capture. Mm, capture cursor. There you go. There's my mouse. Um All right, here we go. And we are going to damages. And we want to get recluse going. One a two, a three. Uh, reckless. And then we want to a one, a two, and a three. And green. Um, I'm pretty sure we want. Do we want the one three or the two two? Um, no, we want the one three first. I think. Yeah, we want the 1-3 because we can attack with it next turn and then it gets ment mentor mentored. All right. All right. Um, all the previous giveaways were won by non-subscribers. Trying to get the Deckmaster going. Want to see the sick new cards. Not counting the... Yeah. Basically, even though subs get 11 tickets and followers get one, every time, every other giveaway, it's been a non-subscriber. Like, so yes, it is... It has been in the favor of the followers as opposed to the subs. So that's why I wanted to make sure that the subs got a uh, the ability to get busy today. 3-2. I will block you with my 1-4. I promise. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Um, time to block. 1-2-3-4. And this is an instant convoke. Perfect. Perfecto. What you got? What you got? What you got? Nothing? Hmm. What's the order of this? Is this the first, second, third? Mm-mm. Oopsies. <laughs> Ooh. Blowout time. Um, I can make this guy fly. Let's go. But, but this is this says okay. So this has vigilance. This guy's definitely attacking, and we'll do it this way. Get big. Can I get a witness? All right. Let's do this, and then um, one. No, no. Let's not type. Let's not type like that. Like this. There you go. And let's go get another land out of the deck. Mistakes were made. We got him. We got him. Um, I guess we'll just take this gate out of our deck. I don't remember if we played a land this turn. We clearly did. Well, we're going to draw two cards EOT. And we're going to try to crawl our way back from five life. After we wrathed our opponent. We still have a lot of good draws. 5-5 five, five, haste. Ooh. Is it trample too? Nope. Okay. Um. Mm -hmm. How do we want to do this? Um. I want to block there for sure. Um. My flyer is super important. Because it has vigilance. And so we're going to do it like this. Right? 
and then we take nothing. And we start to deal with this five five. What the? F Ugh. I like how it just didn't let me use this. Oh, I didn't have four. Maybe that was why. Okay, no problem. No problem, man. And well, let's draw. Let's do this now. One, two, three, four. Gotta mentor my creatures, boys. I gotta make sure that they all right. Ooh, prey upon. That card's good. Um, two creatures. I can put something to, um, let's see. That's not gonna do anything. I get to get two creatures back. I can get both those guys back. And that doesn't really do that much. Mm-hmm. So I could finality um, my guy. Oh, that won't work. I was like, I could prey upon. Oh, I could. So I could prey, next turn, I could prey upon, hit this guy to here. Um, wait, or I can just block. Never mind. I don't have to do anything. Two, four, five. Let's do it this way. We'll see if he blows us out this time. Because whatever dies, we're going to be able to bring back. So I'm not terribly stressed about it. But he had nothing, so it didn't matter. It was irrelevant, friends. Um, and now, um, if he plays anything that's less than four toughness, we get to finality and make our guy a four power. And uh, we just now we're just kind of worried about haste, right? But this has vigilance, so. Like, I could bring back a Charger and a Hawk right now. I could bring back... I could um, I could bring back Hawk plus Recluse to hold the ground. I think I... Because I'm at 6, 5 damage to target creature. That's going to make Finale, our other card, much better. Um, so... Let's... um. Like, if he plays a four-power creature, right? Like, are we going to die because we brought back two of our guys? Like, I think we can race. I think we can race it. So we'll bring back Healer Hawk, and we'll bring back this guy. And that way we can um, just bring... We can just try to go faster. We're going to try to go faster than him. So you can't use um, Deckmaster because I don't have the um, it installed. <laughs> so that's probably your first problem. But if you ask me what something is, I'll tell you. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. Uh, that card's pretty good too. Attack! Get in there. We're fighting back from five. We're going. Did I miss some awesome news? Jarcy, you have not missed awesome news yet. But the good thing is that um, we only have... Ooh, that's good. That's a good one. All right. Uh, what does this do? Um... Oh, this says destroy creature? Wow, I can't read. This card's way... Destroy target artifact, creature, or enchantment. Holy crap. Why didn't somebody tell me? Hey, why didn't somebody tell me that this kills creatures, bro? Why didn't somebody tell me that this is Vraska's Contempt? God. Oh my God. I feel so stupid right now. We could have won that other game, for sure. 
for sure. Read the... I know. Reading is hard. Reading is so hard. Um, God. Uh, Spirit PLX, thank you. I wasn't paying attention. Um, I was just being bad. Oh my God. That's so embarrassing. Like, unbelievably embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, we, we, yeah, you guys would help me if I had Deckmaster on, you big scrub, Rob. You big scrub. What's wrong with you? You're too drunk. Give me your keys, bro. Give it to me. Yeah, you're clearly too drunk to stream. Get out. All right. We got four wins. Let's go. We're just going to keep keep rocking this bad boy uh, until we can't rock it no more. Until we can't rock it no more. All right. We're playing against Scalding Hot Soup. Does anybody know who that is? Do you get to pick your guild in Arena Sealed? No. They just give you some boosters. Um, and then you got to see. All right. So our hand is pretty good if we had white mana. Um, if we had white mana, um, this would... Uh, man, this would be really good. Um, oh, gosh. Um... The first giveaway has already happened for the subscribers. But I guess, like, the other thing is his hand is, like, if I if I don't draw white mana, I just lose, right? And I, I can't afford to do that. All right. Um, I don't need two of those. Oh, boys, this could be the end. We mulliganed into a four and a, a nine drop. This could be it. Um... Our hand's not getting better. We didn't draw a two or a three drop. God, we gonna die. No, two ones. No, we didn't. More land. Oh, stop it, Scott. Stop it, Scout. Stop it. What does this say? When it's your turn, it has first strike. Oh, okay, cool. It's pretty legit. Pretty legity. Well, the good thing is that we have ways to clear his board if we if we draw them. So we kind of just need to stay alive and try to get to good stuff. Um, and he's stuck on two mana. So there's that. Um, well, I lie. I lied. He's got three. Would be a shame if I drew more lands than the lands I already have. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't that be something? Put a plus. What? What the hell is this? What is this garbage? Now I gotta block this stupid thing? I guess. I guess I'll block. I don't like it. But I will do it. Just because I have negative four, negative four to everything somewhere in my deck. Um. Yeah. All right, all right, I see you. I see you, deck. All right, four mana. Let's get this guy up on her. All right, we need to live two turns. Yes, the best way to learn is to fail. We really just need wrath. We need negative four, negative four to everything right now. That fails at being negative four, negative four to everything. But it is first strike. So I can at least kill this thing. And we still can draw the negative four, negative four to everything and probably win from here. If, if we drew it. We do get to make a Convoke Hexproof guy. So we still have to find a way to deal with this thing. Oh God. <laughs> four five flying vigilance mentor oh you don't say how do i beat this i'm not sure how i beat this because this becomes a four three um mm. 
Like, the only way I can beat this is if he puts a counter on this guy. Yeah. All right, so that's eight. Um, oh gosh. Um, all right, so we... What's the huge green card in my hand? It's um, a Boratum Elemental. Convoke Hexproof. So... Our only hope is, so this is gonna, this is eight. That would put us to four, so we would die. So we have to block this guy. Um, I would rather have a two-two first striker against the first striker. So I will block here. I will block there. And we are at eight. Um, we're going to have to find an answer here shortly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, nine. This is nine. Jesus, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we're dead. <laughs> we did. We did. Oh, sure. Give him bonuses. Now I block here. And take seven. Mm-hmm. Oh, I take eight, and I am dead. I am dead. Good game, even though we mauled and drew a bunch of nothing. There are no answers. We just die. Die, 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 die. Frown. Well, schnuckies. Well, shucks. Yeah, exactly. Chris Clay's like, hey, I'm gonna come get you, bro. I'm gonna come get you. All right. That was fun. Mm-hmm. I would like to exit this game if you don't mind. All right. Let's, uh, let's switch something real fast. Um... Actually, that's the that's the wrong way to do that. Let's do it this way. Uh, let's go to my editor. Let's go to our display capture. And let's get number two. And all right. So let's talk about some artifact. I like that. Let's get our let's get our uh, our our music going. What do we we got to get back to to home base? We gotta get back to what we're used to. There we go. Hey, hey. Have you heard that somewhere before? Uh, uh. That's that artifact boy. Yeah, we doing it. All right. So let's. While I'm, I'm gonna get this put together. Let's uh, talk about artifact. So somebody said on Twitter something got released. Let's find out what ha let's talk about what got released, but I want to make sure I double check that it was actually really got released so I don't get in trouble and by talking about cards Let's see Anybody want to link anybody want to link to uh, oh here we go. I See Venomancer. I see him who released him who did that? Um Infinite timelines, infinite robs, infinite bad plays by bad Rob. Um, where? Hold on. Who really? Hey, who is the person that showed Venomancer? I saw it. I just saw it on Twitter. Where did it go? Here we go. Leaf Eater. Um. So the mana clicker sucked today. We feel bad about it. Okay. Got it. All right. It was Reddit's card. Let's take a peek. Uh, here we go. Link to the card. So... Does everybody know what Venomancer actually does? Like, 
did they show where's this is just the oh here we go i was like where's the rest of this thing where the rest of this bad boy at okay so um you know people always wonder if these cards are any good so chat um you tell me what do you think do you think that this card is actually a good card do you think it's a bad card do you think uh here we go it's a two six so here we go venomancer it's blue it is a two six it's uh ability is it makes one of these guys in lane um, every turn. And then before the action phase, it does two piercing damage to a random enemy neighbor. And then So Venom makes more of them. More babies. Um, so just in my experience, um, Venom Answer in Limited uh, is fine it's like it's not it's not great uh because the problem with venom answer is it's a two six so it when you put it into lane it doesn't kill any creeps it doesn't kill anything like except a grunt right like so and then six toughness means it gets killed by like almost every hero that's worth anything so it just kind of like the body on this card is really weak um being able to bring in um a plague ward every deployment phase um is very very good um so because it's a one three and it, it doesn't die instantly um and that two piercing damage sometimes um goes pretty hard against uh some of the other heroes that are depending on their armor to stay around so and it doesn't cost you anything beyond like you know this card to get this plague ward in lane so i I, I like, you know, and then obviously So Venom uh, bringing in two Plague Wards is is also not a bad thing because when you get, comp, you know, get these guys in combination doing two damage and sometimes like two, four, or six damage uh, is very, 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 very good. So um, that's this is another one of those cards in Artifact that the card itself is kind of whatever, um, but the cards that they bring to the table are you know are much better and the other thing too is it's blue and being blue you know you get these like in limited i always play like the blue black go wide deck uh so it's um it's definitely something that venomancer helps you go really really deep in on when you get to go do the blue black uh part of it so um I would say Venomancer is like a three out of five. It's not, it's, it's a B tier hero. It's definitely not S tier. It's definitely not A tier. It is like firmly B. Uh, how many games of limited have I played so far? Um, I've played probably like every game I've played of artifact has pretty much been limited. So a hundred hours, you know, or 80 to a hundred hours, something like that. Um, I, I play Artifact every day for as much time as I possibly can that I'm not at work or hanging out with my family. So I've got a pretty good, uh, pretty good, I, uh, handle, handle on it. So, um, I do have some news. Okay. Now the thing about this particular news is it's for me, it's it's actually unbelievable that this happened, okay? It, it It's actually kind of like out of this world that I'm about to tell you what I'm going to tell you, okay? Um, and a lot of people, like some people like on um, in Discord were saying like, oh, it's something to do like directly with Artifact and things like that. But like, I mean, let's be real. Like I have like maybe 2,000 followers uh, on my Twitch so I'm not probably the the guy that they're going to use to um, reveal some big news from Valve. Um, but it's news about me. It's news for me. So remember I told you, uh, I think it was like two days ago during the stream, that I was going to be uh, meeting with a esports team and, you know, seeing about doing content with them. Now, there's a lot of esports teams out there, right? Like a ton of them. And, um, I, am I going to be a verified Twitch partner? Man, I would love to be a verified Twitch partner, but we still have to do some more hours. We got to do some more hours. We're making the numbers cause we have to have 75 concurrent 
and we're averaging about 200 and like uh, 275, 280, something like that. So we're, we've got that part, but we've got to just get some more um, more hours in. So uh, I'm going to be working on trying to do that as much as I can. Anyway, so I met with um, a uh, particular esports team, had a good conversation with them, talking about their vision uh, as to where they want to go in the market and what they really want to do and um, how they want to be the big player, right? So it is not Evil Geniuses, in case you're wondering, typewriter 3033, but that's that's not a bad guess, not a bad guess. Um, I'm just trying to think, <laughs> Evil Geniuses confirmed, I'm just telling you, ha ha ha. No, no, it's really not. So um, myself and a, a very small group of people who will be able to, um, what do you call it? Be part of this artifact content team. Uh, so it's not, I'm not going to be on the pro team. I'm not a pro player, but I will be on the uh, content team for Team Liquid. So uh, I am super stoked to be working with, uh, with Team Liquid um, for artifact content. Um, I'm going to be having articles, um, published there, going to be doing videos. We're going to be doing all kinds of stuff, uh, for team liquid. And so I want to thank every single person who has gone out of their way to subscribe to the channel, to, um, retweet stuff and be able to do all of that. Like it is freaking awesome. Like, I mean, and it's unbelievable, right? Like, I would have never thought in like a million, million years that I would uh, be able to tell you that I was working with uh, Team Liquid. So, hey, thank you for those, them bits. And so it's just good. So what you're going to see is um, it hasn't been published yet, um, but we are going to have um, a separate website um away from like because there's going to be like the team liquid stuff and then the artifact stuff is going to have its own special branding um obviously we're working with team liquid but like it's going to have its own branding so you know you'll see me with you know some team liquid like you know shirts and jerseys and stuff um that kind of stuff but uh the stream will be uh we'll have like the logos of um of the website and, and that kind of thing so it's going to be super sweet and you're going to see a lot more of me uh, because we're going to be doing like all the content. And the team is so broke. Like when they announce the team, you are going to be, you're going to be like, holy, oh my God. Um, so, and then when we announce the content team, even the, the content team is sick. Like the content team is sick. So when you see the names that are coming out on the content side, you're going to poop your pants. Um, because there's definitely, uh, without giving you, giving away too much, there's definitely some, uh, some big names. There's some folks in there and, uh, yeah. So yes, that was my big news. Uh, I'm going to be updating all of my, um, Twitter stuff and everything like that. Um, so total one content. Yeah. So content is going to be articles, videos, uh, I'll be doing interviews. So like, um, next week I'm going to have, uh, Joel Larson, uh, on who is, you know, pro tour champion magic. He just won the limited tournament, uh, beta tournament, uh, for artifact. Uh, I, what we teamed together for pro tour Hawaii a long time ago on with, uh, team revolution for magic. Uh, so I've known him a long time. He's going to come on the stream. Um, I'm hoping next week to have flush, come on and uh, talk. We're going to do some of that. Um, I'm trying to get uh, Kibler to come by and talk. And then also uh, Mr. Stanislav Sifka. So those are the, my, the guys, I, the guys who are for sure going like you'll for sure is next week. hundred percent. Fwash said that she just needs a time. So she's like 75%. Uh, I still got to get a hold of Brian and I still got to get a hold of Stanislav or Stan and try to figure, get a day, get a day done. And, um, but yes, so we're going to try to do that. And we're going to, when I get those guys on, when I talk, when I get, um, Yol on, we're going to talk a lot of limited. So like if limited isn't your deal, like you're not going to want to tune in that day. 
because we're going to like deep dive into limited as much as we can without breaking the NDA. Um, so, uh, but because that's my deal, like that's my, my part of the website is going to be like, I'm going to be like, the, the limited dude. I'm going to be talking 24-7 about how to win um, in sealed or draft or whatever format that they end up coming out. But Fwash, that's the queen, boy. Don't you dare. Hey, you, better, you better recognize Fwash being the queen. She is, um, she is awesome. If the NDA gets lifted by then, then we're going deep in the content. That'll be like, I'm going to keep him on. As, I'm going to just like handcuff him. Uh, no, you can, dude, we can talk so much strategy, Magic Jazz. Like, um about how to like build decks but we don't obviously we just don't tell you about the cards that um aren't haven't been released and yes we that is the idea is to be like the limited resources of artifact um when i when i when can i play mtg i have a, a closed beta game have i seen her um dota content and parodies i have seen some because when i actually met flash at pax i had no idea who she was i had no idea what like what her little niche in the community was. So, you know, and then she was telling me what she did and I was like, you know, I got to check that out because she was so nice. Like, Astra, like, I mean, like, you know, you meet people who you like, you don't think like could possibly be that real, that nice in real life. She is actually just that nice. And, uh, so I'm very happy to say that, um, she's been really good to me and really helpful. And she is the queen. Uh, and we'll see. I still haven't got to play her in, in Artifact yet. So I'm going to try to hunt her down, you know, in uh, the closed beta and try to get her to play. So, but yeah, like that's that's pretty much, you know, that was the news uh, that I wanted to tell you guys. And, um, you know, our stream only lasts two hours, so we only have like eight minutes left in the stream anyway. But I wanted to talk about Venomancer. And then um, let's go to our giveaway. Where see we're at? We got uh, about... 23 minutes left on that giveaway so let's uh let's see what games i have let's see if i've uh gone through i haven't go, I, so i have more packs gameplay i just haven't actually gone through and um what's the word i'm looking for uh like compiled them i guess is the best word um so that we can do it so let's let's look here um uh, let's What is this? 11 minutes? Let's see what we have here. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Whoa, don't put that over here. What you doing? That's the wrong wrong button. All right. Do we have to be here for the giveaway? Yes. The giveaway will happen in 22 minutes. 22 minutes. So you probably want to be here. Because if you entered and you're not here in 20 minutes, you ain't winning nothing. You ain't getting jack. All right, here we go. I need to follow her. I didn't know anyone other where Rob was giving keys away. Yeah, she um, she's doing her thing, man. All right. So this game is um one of the recorded game. This is not my game. Um, this is somebody else playing against the AI. So we've got the uh, blue red deck uh, against the blue black deck, and this is a hard match for the blue black deck because. Eclipse um, is obviously very good. Um, Berserker's Call is obviously very good. Um, Earthshaker is gonna has Echo Slam, so it's just a the blue black deck really wants to go super wide uh, and then play like Assault Ladders from Sorlacon. but you know there's so many AOE effects that the blue red decks have that it's just a really hard matchup. Even when you're playing against the um, the computer so we're just going to let this play because we've got about 20 minutes and this game is about 15 minutes so i'm not going to stop it so if you uh if you have a question whoops if you have a question about something i'm just going to have to do my best to work it out all right so lane one we would like to be able to we want to um the blue black deck is going to need to get luna off the board asap because every turn that she gets to be able to put a charge counter on Eclipse is a turn that you aren't winning. Um, and obviously you can see these hands in here because when you're at PAX, um, you sit down and then one of the Valve employees actually explains to you how to play. So the person who's sitting here, this is the first time they've ever seen Artifact in their life. 
Um, and so they're just trying to figure it out. So that's why most of these players have no idea what's going on. They play really bad. But there's a he probably should just grazing shot um, on that melee creep right there and get the gold. Or he can um, grazing shot the um, the Luna here to do four damage and then next turn be able to basically do the same thing. Um, he could also just double grazing shot on um, on Luna, take her down to two life and then have the melee creep um, hope that that melee creep lives through the one damage that she's going to do next turn. Um, but he could also like um, in the in lane two, he could cast better late than never back into lane one to be able to uh, help out on that. So um, there's also an argument to just cast one grazing shot onto Luna and then in mid better late than never back into this lane and then see what happens and see if he needs to save that, um, that grazing shot for his lane three or just cast the grazing shot back into lane one from lane three uh, in case that his opponent doesn't do anything that needs to get two damage on it. Or, I mean, or he could just not do either. He could not do grazing shot at all. Um, and then just wait for lane three to do it, which is, that's also, um, that's also very good. All right. So hit this, hit that one and then going to hit it again and then just try to get all the damage in here. That's fine. Half the tower damage. Um, is there going to be a longer stream today? Like a longer artifact stream, uh, Kermes, or what are you talking about? Um, thanks, man. I hope at least 50% of the people here will have beta access because there will be more ways to get into the beta. Uh, is there a second key giveaway? Yes. So there were the first key giveaway was um, at the end of the first hour when we were playing Magic, and that was for the subs only. And then the second key giveaway is going to happen in 18 minutes, and you just have to be a follower. So so now he could better... He doesn't want to be on this lane because he's not going to have really any way to deal with Bristleback. So he should probably... No, strafing run is not what you want to do here. He just cast that melee creep that better late than never and bring that back into lane one or lane three. Um, and then just get off this lane. Let uh, Jamoy die. And because you don't really have a good way to deal with Bristleback. So yeah, just no, no, don't strafing run. Who cares? You're not, you're like, the thing about strafing run here is he wants to try to get gold, right? He's like, oh, I'm going to get gold. But now you just have a melee creep versus a Bristleback. And you could have had an extra melee creep in lane one. Uh, will you PM the winner on Twitter? Um, no. I'm going to just PM them in Twitch. <laughs> um, yeah, 17 minutes. 17 minutes and 11 seconds until the giveaway. Uh, so he can't do anything here. Um, Necrophos is going to kill that melee creep. He's going to go get that extra health back to five. And that's fine. He just needs to live to Steam Cannon. Um, I would 100% buy a Town Portal scroll here to give us a little bit of, you know, just... Because we're not going to buy... The, we can't get Musket. We're not going to hold for Apotheosis Blade. So let's just get that Town Porter Scroll in our pocket. And we can uh, have that for later. So... We're still holding on to this uh, better late than never. Alright, so we've got Zeus coming in. Where our melee creeps are split, but neither of them are in uh, Bristleback's lane, which is fine. So I would put Zeus uh, into our first lane uh, against uh, Luna... Because if we put him into third, he will get put right in front of... He, well, there's a good chance he'll get put in front of the red hero. And then all he needs is, you know, one power to be able to kill Zeus. And that doesn't seem like a good idea. Do not put it in front of Bristleback. What are you doing? What? I don't, I don't even understand how that works. Like, no... No. Yeah, so um, this particular person has made a couple mistakes. Uh, obviously, putting that guy in front of Bristleback is just bad. Do not put that Town's Portal. Put that Vandal into play onto the right side of that creep. Do Just stop looking at that card. There you go. Put it. Nope. There you go. And then pray to baby Jesus that goes left. Okay, it doesn't. Um, this is definitely worse than Potato Rob. This is not Potato Rob. Potato, this is, Potato Rob, you saw his first game, and I won. Uh, someone will sure make a new Twitch account to look like a winner and scam that key. I will try that today. 
No, this isn't me. Uh, all right, so his Zeus is just gonna get murdered, and or he's gonna have to burn this town portal scroll for no reason. So, I mean, he almost certainly should just put cast better late than ever again, and cast it back into the first lane. No, God. <laughs> Oh, yes, cast the spell first and then town portal scroll, but don't put a melee creep into this lane. Yes, you do need, you do need to be in the chat and that will happen in about 14 minutes. Um, the new player experience is, um, it's just hard in the beginning. So you just have to um, find somebody, find somebody who knows how to play. So this would be an example of why he needed to have that scroll because he could have scrolled here and saved his uh, necrophos but anyway um it's it's hard like your first you know week or two weeks playing artifact is really rough because you lose a bunch if you play against humans you can just play against the bot the whole time do not hold a shop deed Woo. <laughs> oh god he's never gonna have 22 gold in this game ever like never ever never ever ever will he have 22 gold in this game so he just paid a a gold, and he keeps putting people in front of Gristleback. All, oh God. So all he had, in this case, he should have put, put Zeus, touch, mm, oh. um, hey Alex, hey what up, um, I will keep that in mind, um, that unfluffy panda, appreciate that. Um, if I know how to play magic, can you learn faster? So yeah, like, you will, the thing is, is that you'll learn faster, you're still gonna make a bunch of mistakes, right? But you're, um, you definitely will have an idea of how cards work. You'll have an idea of how to manage mana a little bit. But the thing is, is that um, you need to practice. That's going to be your big thing. And you're going to need to read a lot. So in this case, if he had, see, if he would have put a blue hero into this lane, he could have frost, um, cast Frostbite onto Luna and... His, his person was, or no, two toughness. Okay, so he could have um, had a chance that if you put two heroes in this lane, that neither of them would have been, um, they would have been here. Oh, sorry, I'm pointing and you can't see that. But one would have been in front of the melee creep and one would have been in front of Luna. And then his, uh, his black hero would have lived and he would have killed the tower. But instead, his guys just die. And so now he's still trying to fight here. And the problem is he's got a conflagration in this lane. And on top of that, there's a blue hero that comes with this one card called Echo Slam. So, yeah. Yeah, he's trying to use the... Am I streaming tomorrow? Uh, I probably will stream tomorrow morning. Um, it just depends how I feel. So after this stream is over, I will try to get to bed ASAP and... Uh, get up early and we can maybe do a stream. Um, like I said, it just, just, it just depends how I feel. Um, cause I have like a lot of work stuff to do. So I may, I may not do that. I may not. Uh, all right. So he's got a problem now cause he's got, um, RMP in this lane and it's about to copy up. And he uses conflag. Uh, there is not, as of today, I was told by the devs at PAX, that there will not be a tutorial in game. Yeah, it's really hard to lose every. He held it again. <laughs> um, yeah, he's actually just losing every lane, and um, the worst thing he could do is put a necrophos into mid. Um, Rob, is there a lot of activity in the beta these days? Yeah, I play a lot daily. Um, like as soon as this is over, I yeah, we're the contest will eleven minutes. Um, but yes, I do get to play a lot daily. Um, I just get to jump in. It's really hard to lose every single lane. So I guess he's not losing this lane. Um, but now he's got four seven drops. So he needs to keep... If he can go like Steam Cannon, Steam Cannon, he might actually um, have a chance here. He can Thunder God's Wrath and kill the blue hero here. Do Oh, he doesn't have six. It's only six. Seven, excuse me. I thought he had seven. Um... But he's going to get Eclipsed instead, so you dead. His saving grace here is um, next turn, 
he will be able to steam cannon in lane one. He can place a black hero into lane two, steam cannon in lane two, and from lane well lane one he can steam cannon shoot bristle back for four, and then in lane two he can try to play steam cannon and then do it again to kill Bristleback. So, but then he has to like try not to lose every single lane. That's I I, again, I didn't know that was wow. He's super dead because now he's going to get two RMPs in this lane. He's holding that secret shop. I told you, he's never going to see 22 mana. He's definitely going to be super dead before that happens. Um, don't hold it again. Jesus Christ. Buy a musket. Buy a musket. Buy a musket. Okay. Buy a short sword. There you go. Buy the armor. Wow. There you, he, instead of getting taxed for three turns, uh, he finally decided to buy stuff. Remember, you only have nine minutes left if you want to get into uh, the drawing. Uh, he has initiative, so... You're going to have to put that poor poor black hero into mid. Can you tell us if you have played any of the tournament features without revealing anything? Um, I did play in the limited tournament um, that was last Saturday. I finished 25th out of 80, 86, something like that. Um, I, I obviously could have done a lot better, I feel. Um, yeah, exactly. He really tried to hold it again. Um, I wasn't... I mean, I was happy with my performance for my first tournament, but I did make a lot of errors. So um, he should musket here. No, musket onto Necrophos. Musket onto Necrophos. Come on, come on. Or actually, don't even do that. No, steam cannon first. Steam cannon first so that you don't get eclipsed and lose everything. Steam cannon. You can do it. Come on now. Come on, bro. I heard the former card players crush the Dota players and casters. Yes, the former card tournaments, car card players are very good at Artifact because a lot of them have been in the beta for a long time and they're very good. It was a limited tournament, Zeit, or Zeitch. And no, get Bristle back. Jesus Christ, you could have just musketed. Ugh. <sighs> he still could musket. Because, yeah, proceed, proceed, proceed. Oh my god, stop it. Just, um, the tournaments are best three out of five or just one win? I can't tell you, actually. Um, but he... Alright, so now Steam Cannon again. Like, he could have Steam Cannoned and hit Bristleback... And then Steam Cannon here and it killed Bristleback, but he just didn't do it. Like, and and now he's not even going to deal eight. He's not going to do any damage to Bristleback because he's uh, Earthshaker is going to use his ability. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. No, do not shoot Bristleback now. Now you have to shoot. That doesn't do anything. So like he could have shot um, the blue hero and then musket. And then shot it for the last point of damage, um, or at least put it on there and make him use his uh, his ultimate. But he just didn't do that. Um, phase boots in front of your guy. Cool, thanks. Uh, I don't understand that, but it's the AI, so you never know. Um, I guess he could just use his ultimate now. And now your guy just dies. And you lose this tower. And then you're going to lose the next lane. And yeah, this is a, a this is about as bad as it gets. I, th I think this is the absolute worst game I have seen uh, someone play. And I say that with as much love as I possibly can. If siege damage goes through blocking, does Sorokan deal four siege damage? Why is the tower only taking two damage? Um, why would Sorokan do four siege damage? Yeah, like I, mean, I understand. Even if you're a first timer, though, like it's. I mean, I know artifacts complicated, but you know, it's it's not. That that was just 
I feel like also, yeah, I was like, I don't think, I was like, how did Sorla get Siege? Uh, do we tweet anything for the giveaway? No, today is, there's no, there's no tweet. Um, <laughs> that was me, you flame. Sorry to Zoo, man. Didn't mean to. Yeah, she gets a bonus when she attacks a tower. She doesn't get Siege. That's, that's the thing. So, Siege is uh, quite a bit different than uh, her ability. So, while we have everybody here, it, we've got four minutes. So, um, they announced some big scary 9 and 10 drops today. Are those playable or too slow in most modes? No, like, um, the thing about it is in limited especially, like, 10 is kind of hard to get to. But a lot of games, you can get to 9 fairly uh, fairly reliably, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, so you, you'll you see 9, especially if you're playing like green and you can just ramp into 9. That's like not a big deal. Um, 10 is, is kind of rough. Like, I mean, I've played a lot of games where I've gotten to 10, but it's not, that's not the norm to get to 10. Um, it's definitely more, more along the lines is turn 7 and 8 are when most games end. But there are ways to be at turn seven or eight and have nine mana. Um, if she gets siege, it does not. The siege does not get plus four. Um, have I used a team liquid sight and forms for previous games like Starcraft or poker? I have not. Um, I've pretty much been uh, Magic only forever. Um, Magic, and then also I've been playing um, Clash Royale a little bit, just when I'm at work and on the road. Uh, so yeah. We will, uh, Gwentar, we will be doing a artifact key in three minutes. Just make sure that you exclamation point Rob AJG to get up in there. And also remember, will I disqualify a bot account? Yes, we still will. Your, your Twitch account has to be at least a month old. If your Twitch account is not a month old, I will definitely re-roll you. So know that. Know that. Um... We've got about two and a half minutes. What other questions do you have? You better get up in here. This is like, to, today has been the best odds for getting a beta key that you could possibly have. Like the sub only was maybe 25-ish people. And um, this one is going to be, you know, less than 140 people. So, you got pretty good odds. Pretty good odds. So, um, I wish you luck. What's the best way to get started into Magic before Artifact? Um, well, I mean, just play at Mar. I mean, you just got you can play a game. Like, you know, play Magic, play Artifact. You can play them both. It's going to be hard to, if you don't know either and you want to learn both at the same time. That would be rough. Because, like, Artifact's going to take a lot of your time to learn, and so is Magic. Uh, so, and why do people say green-black is bad? Um, I don't think green-black's bad. I think green-black's fine. Um, I would rather play blue-black. I think it's better than green-black. But there's definitely heroes in green that are are pretty sick. But there's so many blue heroes that are just bonkers that I'd rather play that. Um, let's see. <laughs> If you give me the key, I'll get five more randos subs. Nope. That's not how it works. Sorry. Uh, what else do I mean? Top players in the beta. Um, that's another thing that's like kind of hard to say because we're not sure. Well, not everybody who's in the beta wants to be known that they're in the beta, but obviously people who've done interviews have. So like Life Coach is, is very good. Yol is very good. Stanislav is very good. Um, Luminous. Lumi is very good. Uh, so you know, the, the normal characters. Um, I've been playing Magic for years. How hard is Artifact to pick up? It's hard. I've been playing Magic mo most of my life. More than half of my life has been Magic. And it's it's tough. You just have to practice. You have to take your, take your lumps. Uh, and I have not seen Slacks play. Like, a game that wasn't at PAX. Like, and at PAX, he was, like, kind of messing around and, like, um, like not trying to win, like where he has like lethal, he like just doesn't do it. Uh, so yeah. Um, I, like I said, I haven't seen him play in real life, and uh, so I will let you know if we play. I'll be like, dude, this guy's a bum. This guy sucks. 
Um, is game is artifact game gameplay intuitive? Um, yes. You got five seconds, by the way, if you haven't got it in. Five seconds. And then... All right, here we go. It is. You can no longer enter. All right, here we go. All right, guys. It is time to pick a winner. A winner? And... Uh, you think that some contract players on teams can't say they play Artifact? Yeah, there. I think most teams are just waiting. Um, and then they're gonna do a big, you know, a, a big reveal of who's on their team. So, um, do you know if Nether Ward procs off spells cast from other lanes? Absolutely not. It does not work like that, Capitos. All right. So everybody's in. Here we go. Drum roll. Pick that winner. I Azure Drake. That is a magic player for sure. <laughs> I Azure Drake. Yo. What up? <laughs> Time to call my children. It's rigged. Got him. I Azure Drake. You are a winner. You got a beta key, bro. You don't have to buy one on eBay. Yay. Yes. <laughs> you did it. You did it. Um. Uh, is Azure Drake Hearthstone? I thought Azure Drake... Oh, no, Azure Drake is Hearthstone. I was thinking of uh, the 2-4. Um, rigged. I like it. It's funny when people win and then they say it's rigged. It's so great. It's awesome. So, um, but yes, he is here. Uh, he Definitely, you can see on my screen that he messaged me. Um, now we just got to make sure he's got a month-old account. Let's get that check going on. Uh, HNQE... We did a sub giveaway at the beginning, and then this is for the followers, and then um, I probably will not do a stream tomorrow morning. I've got a lot of work to do, um, so I will most likely be back streaming on, uh, let's see, Monday morning? Um, so yeah, there's that. I thought there was an Azure Drake in Magic. Maybe, I like, am I not, am I tripping? So... Uh, I, Azure Drake, make sure you send me a, uh, a message. Whisper. Whisper to me, baby. Whisper. And I will get you your key. So, uh, other than that, it, uh, it's 11.18 my time. I gotta get moving. Um, I gotta get to bed because I gotta get to work in the morning. Uh, but thank you guys. Again, everything's been awesome. Um, you will see more stuff from me, uh, and Team Liquid, uh, soon. So uh, make sure you check that out. And I will obviously uh, let you know when all that's going to launch. So uh, if you want to find me on Twitter, it's at Rob AJG. Same thing for uh, Facebook. Um, same thing for every social media that's out there. You can uh, you can find me. And uh, I'm hoping that this uh, the, the beta for all these keys, I hope we get started, you know, second week of October. That'd be great. That's what they told us at PAX. But I don't know. We'll see. You know, there, there's some things that need to be done. But, uh, yeah, please make sure that you send me that message. I will get you your key, and then uh, we will go from there. But I got to get to bed and uh, get that work going. So thank you again for coming by. Thank you for everybody who subbed. Thank you for the winner who subbed, like, five people. That was sweet. And I'm hoping some of those guys will win um, a key later on because that would be great. It would be great. All right, talk to you guys later.